Hey, what up guys? So I kind of did some switching around. This here is the basically my standby cards. You can see I kind of swapped out some of the stuff. I'm not using Prince at the, at the moment, uh, mostly because he's kind of underleveled. Um, having something at level 1, um, basically pushing Arena 4, is getting a little bit difficult. So I did swap out a few units. I'm still using the Dragon, which I still believe is probably the best card that I have uh, leveled up. Some of, some of my other cards to use. Um, not using the Musketeer because she's only level 2 as well. I think that's a little underpowered. Um, instead of the Skeleton Army, I am using Barbarians. I find that they're pretty useful for both defense and offense. I mean, you probably don't need me to tell you that. Um, yeah, excuse the music in the back. I don't have game audio, so uh, just putting something in the background. It's uh, Maximum the Hormone, Yoshu, not Fukushu. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm bad at Japanese. That's fine. Um, but again, Barbarian's good for defense, um, and they do end up pushing a little bit. You can use them on offense, I just don't use it so much like that for this deck. Anyways, I have my range dealers, my giant, my dragon for like uh, tanking purposes. I'm running the bomb tower, it's serving me pretty well, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Um, and then I switch to the two uh, early AoE spells. I have a rocket, but I'm not a huge fan of it quite yet, just because of the high cost. Eventually it might, you know, have a spot over uh, my fireball. But anyways, let's get into our first match against Tronald Dunn. Very clever name. So here, I basically let my um, defenses build, uh, my uh, elixir go all the way to the top. Um, and then I pop down the giant early just so I can uh, have some time to deploy stuff behind him. And then I threw down a tower, uh, which has been serving me well again. And then now basically I have two high HP units on the left side here. I'm kind of waiting around to throw down my archers. Just in case, um, you know, the AoE was going to get to me. And then I basically have my two ranged attackers backing up my one giant. I was actually a little bit late on that, I think in retrospect. I was probably better off holding at least one of them for uh, future use because we only got maybe a little more than a third of that, uh, that tower's health down. And I'm left. I have the giant, but I don't really have a very powerful uh, attacking target. He threw his barbs right in the middle, so they split 2 2, uh, which actually makes it easier for me to take out with my bomb tower. And at this point, I realized that he also has bomb tower. But. Since uh, bomb towers can only attack ground units, I've decided to throw down my dragon. He does the same. Hopefully, I have a little bit of an, but a, a little bit of an edge. Um, that was very poor placement on my archers because they are also getting hit by the splash damage. What I should have done was put them a little bit over to the right, so they can uh, shoot the dragon without getting caught in the blast. Basically, it's only my regular tower uh, defending against these things, right? Uh, the minions so so far. Um, and my bomb tower goes down. And basically I'm just trying to plan out. Um, this was a little bit of a mistake. My minions fly much faster. You can see them go clear over the head of my giant. So it kind of defeats the purpose of um, having them. Because they get killed before they even get out of front. I throw down a fireball. Um, a bad fireball. Because I wasn't reading the HP of um, his bomb tower. Because I was going to get ready to push on that side. Here, I deploy them a little bit better. I throw I throw the uh, dragon and archers further apart from each other just so they can uh, get some spread and won't get caught in one AoE. And he's pushing pretty hard on the right side right now. Fortunately, uh, bomb towers do counter the witch pretty hard. Blows up all the skeletons. Um, barbarians are a little bit harder to deal with because they are a little bit more tanky. But I figured um, I'm going to push a little bit on the left side make him play defense again. Basically, dragon to counter dragon, and then I pop down my archers a little bit early. I'm just gonna, yeah, throw down my arrows to knock out some of the minions that he spawned. My dragon on the right side is gonna go down, but I don't, I don't think that matters because we're just in time to take out uh, his tower on the left to get the one turn. Good game, no, uh, no good game back from Toronto Dump. Open up my chest. <laughs> Open up, you know, a chest as in my uh, treasure chest, not like literally like chest burster alien style. Searching for another opponent now. And we get into our second match with El Asmar. 
the, the, the asthma? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, basically employ the same strategy here. I start uh, throwing down the giant. He's going to walk over. I'm not even worried about that. That was a very poor use of skeletons because they all die in one shot. He has his, uh, his uh, goblins over on that side, but I decide to throw down the archers. And one reason I use the archers over the goblins is just overall DPS is a little bit better. And basically, I was using um, I was using the javelins and um, the minions, but if I basically throw them on one side, they get wrecked by um, a single arrow deployment. So here I start pushing his uh, left side, um, but I made the mistake of basically not having anything on standby to defend the right, and that let him take down my tower as well. I decide to throw a bomb tower down, um, I think. Let's wait. Is that what I do? Yeah. I, th I decide to throw it down just to protect my uh, r right side here. And in retrospect, that's actually not the best idea, um, my timing at least. Because right now, look, he threw down um, his prince, and basically my bomb tower is a little too far to do anything about it. So. With a lack of units to defend, I basically threw down the minions to get them killed faster, which is fine. Our left tower was left with pretty low HP though. So from here I start pushing on the left side again. Um, he was putting down units pretty quickly and um, I was getting decent damage on the uh, king tower, so I figured I might try to 3 star this one, I mean 3 crown this one. My barbarians are going in, they shouldn't, you know... He threw down the mini P.E.K.K.A, which actually gets countered by, um, barbs. And then right here I'm basically just throwing down some, some support. But his mini P.E.K.K.A didn't make it through, I'm just throwing down some stuff to try to defend myself. Baby Dragon a little bit late, uh, compared to the minions, but he counters with, uh, distracting us with the giant. Everything got wrecked by the arrows, but you can see, um, the the use of um, archers over the minions and uh, over the javelin doors because my archers there would have been taken down. Uh, I'm sorry. The javelins would have been taken out by a single arrow deployment, and this actually left my um, archers with a little bit of HP. So that's basically why I use those currently. And this is going to go into overtime. Basically, I'm trying to play heavy defense right now because, uh, yeah, he pushed pretty hard and, uh, I'm on the ropes. I have the tower with less health. I'm basically just trying to distract his units. That's not doing a great job. And basically, last ditch effort, I'm really trying to push all my, uh, units and all my attackers over on the right side to take out that tower as soon as, soon as possible for the next round wins. This was a bad play. I threw down the dragon, um, but I wasn't watching the left, so um, there's really not much I could do about it. I used the barbs to kind of hold him off for a while, but I kind of hovered back and forth with the arrow because I wasn't sure where to shoot. Basically, I already know I'm done here. Um, I had nothing to stop the push on the left. There goes his prince, crash, and I'm dead. So basically, I think in the second match here, I just got a little impatient. He's, I don't know why, he's mad, he lost. Or he won, I lost. And let's go into a third match. Okay, let me just pause for a second just to kind of go through my mindset here. Um, so looking at my beginning spawn units, I have basically my ranged attacker and the barbarians. I have a set of arrows to deploy if I need to, um, but those aren't going to take out any uh, tanky heavy units that he's going to be sending at me. Um, my next unit there is a dragon, so what I can do is throw down a weak unit and then throw the dragon in front of it to help me tank, and I think that's what I do. I'm not too worried about the javelins on the right side. Um, they do die in two hits, and I think my single tower uh, sacrificing a little bit of health and you know, saving up the elixir to push on the left was a little bit, that's a bit of a bad idea. So I think that's what I do. I think I put down the archers on the yep, on the left side there, and then I throw the dragon out front. So I have the same tactic here where um, I just go throw all my ranged characters. This was not the best idea. Um, 
I should have maybe tried to attack from a different angle or only use one set of attackers because the witch um, splash damage took out everything. Bomb tower, direct counter to witch again, um, but that's fine. I basically arrow, yeah, I throw the arrows down to kind of help defend my tower a little so that it can get a little bit more use. So I'm basically waiting for giant and um, archers at this point. And my tower went down. In my bomb tower, not my actual tower. He spawns the hut on the left side there. The hut I'm not too worried about because, again, they die in two hits. At most, um, each troll is going to get one javelin throw in on me. This side is a little bit of a heavier push this time, um, with the dragon and the uh, giant backing it up. And I think, yeah, I basically go all in and attack the shit out of his tower there. My giant goes down, um, and unfortunately, the tower starts blasting at my... Uh, Minions, but that's okay. I think my dragon should do enough damage to take it down because it's only a musketeer hitting me right now. I think at, when I do get my musketeer leveled, I will switch out my archers for musketeer because that unit is basically there for damage. And then I throw it on the barbarians to kind of save my tower some damage. Maybe not the best use. I was probably better just waiting, um, holding off a little. Especially because I was so focused on the right side and defending there that my tower on the left actually took some heavy damage. And a lot of that was just from me allowing that hut to exist. I, maybe I should have fireballed it, or maybe I should have um, played a little bit more defense on the left side, but that's fine. Um, he's sending a bunch of stuff. I didn't have anything to defend at the time, so I threw down some of my ranged units to basically try to pick him off a little bit. Throw out on the arrows to uh, take out those minions. Not a big deal, I think I maybe should have saved the arrows for something like this, but that's fine, I got the dragon down, even though I lost that tower. If I could have held off for another 30 seconds, that would have been auto win. Oops. And here's the heavy push again, I have the barbs this time with me to kind of play some defense. I'm kind of waiting to throw down the bomb tower because I want... I don't need more than one uh, bomb tower on the screen at a time, and positioning is really important. And I'll go over that um, right before the next match, I suppose. Bomb tower counters them pretty well. Uh, at this point, it turns to sudden death. I do have the uh, tower defending me. I threw down the giant, but my thumb was probably co uh, covering the right side, so I was like, oh shit, he has a bunch of units coming from that side. But that's fine, because I have enough time to get down another bomb tower. Maybe I should have put the bomb tower maybe one more unit to the left. Um, that building's about to go down, and it does, even without the use of the bomb tower. But before I forget, um, I do want to kind of talk about placement of the bomb tower um, that I'm choosing. Let's just uh, get to the loading screen. Okay, so usually, I would have ended it after three matches, um, but... There was one more match that I had right after this because I don't know if you saw, I had like a chest that was going to open. So like five minutes after I recorded that, uh, I opened my chest, got some stuff, and then um, there was one match that I played to get another chest um, that I actually pretty much enjoyed. <laughs> so let's just go into this one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was about to go into um, tower placement for the bomb towers. So... Basically, I want to have it in the middle because I want to kind of um, get both sides at the same time. There is, I believe there is an even number of pixels, so you can't, I mean, an odd number of, I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically you can't have it directly in the middle. However, um, you can have it like offset by one. So I basically pick one of those depending on what side I might need to cover a little bit more. And I want to have it usually uh, maybe like two blocks in front of my uh, guard towers there you know that can be argued it's kind of situational sometimes um if you have it too far forward then it takes too much damage before um it gets used sometimes i'm okay with like um one archer or like a javelin thrower getting by my bomb tower and not not targeting it and targeting my tower instead just to kind of split that damage um give me some more time to get another bomb tower up have it too far back, then I, you you basically let uh, too many of the stronger units through, especially the ones that are not multi-unit. Single unit ones, sometimes if you are too far back, like a Prince or a Mini P.E.K.K.A., it'll target your guard tower right away. Anyways, um, let's get into the, this last match so I don't talk you guys to death. 
So again, let's just take a look at our beginning. Dragon, archers, minions are up on deck, and then my two AoEs. On his side, eh, it doesn't matter what's on his side. I believe he places Bomb Skeleton first. So I played my archers to get a little bit of uh, coverage. And then I noticed that he does throw down his Bomb Skeleton. Um, throw down more stuff here. And then I throw a Fireball over just to kind of help um, do some damage. Throw down the bars because I don't want that bomb exploding anywhere near my towers. That bomb actually does a pretty solid, uh, solid chunk of damage. I'm just waiting to get my bomb tower up. But I noticed that he throws down a dragon, so a better counter would be to throw another dragon since your bomb tower can't target the dragon. And the reason it being is basically that his dragon was already locked onto my guard tower. And here's the same strategy I, I employed previously where I'm basically, uh, I th throw down one tank and my two uh, ranged units. Wasn't the greatest use of arrows, admittedly. So right now, um, he is up on Elixir. I kind of had, had the feel for that. I played more units, um, kind of unnecessarily. But basically, I had, I had a little bit more damage, so I, I guess we're still a little bit even. And this is something that I did different, um, which is an improvement over my previous games. I, I did throw the uh, Bomb Tower a little bit more forward. I think maybe one block further back would be fine. Um, just to get a little bit better coverage, to draw them into your uh, arrow range before they start attacking. Um, but you saw in one of my other matches where I basically um, threw down the bomb tower when nothing was attacking yet. As long as your elixir is still filling, um, there's really no reason to put it down early because um, buildings are on a timer. So I waited until his units got across this time to throw down my um, bomb tower. And it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not a big tip. It's probably kind of obvious to most people. But again, let's get into it. Uh, bomb tower hitting there. And then I basically try to split up my units. That didn't go as planned. Um, his dragon actually turned around and started hitting my archers. I was expecting the dragon to target the bomb tower a little bit more. Unfortunately, I did let the big skeleton get a little bit too close, and it did drop a bomb, which took like 700 health off my left tower there. So there he throws down the, uh, the giant behind me, and then a bunch of stuff to back it up. I throw down the barbs, but I basically threw down the barbs before I realized he had a skeleton army behind him. But I reacted with a bomb tower, and that's fine. Dragon on dragon again. In this case, I should win. But just to play it safe, I did throw down the fireball to help me out along the way. My dragon should be fine on that side, so I threw down a giant and decided to push down on the right, uh, which ended up being a mistake. Um, here was a very poor misplay. Um, I deployed the arrows way too late because I was kind of looking back and forth on my uh, cards. I wasn't sure what to play, <laughs> and I kind of uh, overlooked my arrows. His tower on that side has taken a good amount of damage and that's basically because he kind of overlooked and that's another key thing right there so you see that i threw a fireball at that right tower um it had what 179 which means my fireball did 158 <laughs> i don't know i'm bad with math i don't know if that's now nah, i'm not even gonna try to fix myself now if it is wrong um that was a little bit of a miscalculation on my part just because um, I was really hoping it would take it out. That's another thing. Um, you really have to remember how much damage everything does. Your spells is really important. Um, because now he basically is pushing hard on the left side. And this is the reason why I like this match so much. Because I basically stole the win. Everything set up here, he should have won by uh, three crowning me. But look what I have. More arrows. Which does just enough damage to take out the left side and the right side. He says, wow. I say good game, and that's basically it. And again, I'm still kind of learning the game. Um, hopefully, hopefully these videos are like at least entertaining. Um, if they're not helping you, they're probably not. 
um, at least they're kind of giving me some insight while I kind of commentate over um, the things that I'm doing, my decision making, and kind of making me realize where I need to improve in my game. Um, I need to pay attention to the field a little bit more. I uh, overextend myself. But anyways, I'm not trying to let this video get too long. So hopefully we'll get back into it with a better deck next time. Um, I'm okay with the units that I have, but hopefully I can level up some of the units that I would like to use and further improve from there. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe if you wish. If not, that's fine. <laughs>